Oh, yeah. Just because of the long pedigree of the horse doesn't mean that he's more pure than other horses. If the pedigree of the horse, the grandfathers or the grandmothers or the ancestors of the horse, if it's a longer pedigree, it doesn't mean that he's more pure. It's all about the names in the pedigree, not just the length of the pedigree. If it's a long pedigree, but the last grandfather or mother and the pedigree is not very good horse, is not a very good horse, and you compare it to a very short pedigree, pedigree of a horse, but his last grandfather or mother is actually very pure and very well known in the Arabian Peninsula at the time in the past, that means he's more pure. So it's not about how long his ancestors in the pedigree are, it's about how uh, famous his ancestors were. And that's why his pedigree is short, because when you reach to a very well-known stallion, you don't need to continue in the pedigree, because that name that you mentioned is mentioned is already known at that time, and his bloodline is very well-known between the people at that time. Just like people, when the leader of the tribe tells you his name or the uh, name of his family, he doesn't continue in the pedigree or the uh, bloodline or the tree of the family or the tribe because he gave you a very famous name that everyone knows the bloodline or the tree of it. So the short uh, pedigree of an Arabian horse, usually, especially desert bed Arabians, it's short because the final or the last grandfather or mother in the pedigree that you will see is a very well-known horse and history or bloodline is very well known so you don't need to type it or write it in the pedigree because people already know it and can get it if they want it that's why if you see the horses who have a very long pedigree egyptian arabians or polish arabians or sometimes french arabians it's a very long pedigree but if you start from the first grandfather inside the arabian peninsula <clears throat> like he gives you the names of the ancestors in Egypt or Poland or France when he reaches to the grandfather that came out from the Arabian Peninsula you will see that he will give you just two or three names inside the Arabian Peninsula then the pedigree will stop so even the long uh, pedigrees for Egyptian Arabians or Polish Arabians the length is in or on the ancestors outside the Arabian Peninsula. Inside the Arabian Peninsula is just one or two grandfathers and that's it. Until they reach a very well-known grandfather or grandmother. So it's the same. Even the ones with a long pedigree actually have a short pedigree inside the Arabian Peninsula. The length is outside the Arabian Peninsula.